running out of time. We're down to our final question before we get to the closing statements. It might be one of the more important questions that we ask tonight. Congressman, what would you say to a young person who's going to be voting in this election for the first time, who entered this election cycle enthusiastic and eager to be a part of it, but may have some serious doubts with all the negativity that we've seen about uh, you know, the integrity of our a democratic process? Well, I would tell them how important their vote is. I can't emphasize this enough. New Hampshire is right at the center of this storm, and they've got to turn off, no offense to WMUR, great coverage, but turn off the ads, turn off the phone and all the phone calls, and focus in on this is very personal. I will say their vote counts. When I was 18 years old, it was the first time I voted, 1974. I drove home from college. I'm the youngest of five kids. All five of us drove home. And that United States Senate race was a four person four vote margin. So that's how close these races could be. Their vote is incredibly important. And it's the people's government just be aware that if you don't get out to vote on Tuesday, life will go on. One or the other of these parties will win and it will move forward and you will be left out. Okay, Mr. Lawrence, what do you say to a young person who might be losing faith in, faith in the system? Well, I'll start with what I tell my uh, children that are of voting age now. This is a very important time in our history. There are a lot of serious issues, a lot of questions about what direction this country is going to go in. And it's going to profoundly affect every young person in this country. It's absolutely vital that they show up and vote. The advice that I would give them would also say, ignore the distractions. There have been a lot of personal attacks. There have been a lot of mudslinging in this election cycle. They have no place in American politics. I've run a hard race focused on the issues, focused on what I want to do in Washington to make life better for the people of New Hampshire. I would urge young voters to cut through the fray, ignore the distractions, ignore the personal attacks, and look at the issues and vote and decide which direction America is going to go in because their future depends on it.